The third poem that I offer to open mic, Share Your Music, was written more than 700 years ago, in 1314. That was the year, as you know, that Edward II of England invaded Scotland with a huge army, intent on relieving Stirling Castle and destroying the Scots army under Robert Bruce in the process. So confident was he of victory that he brought with him to Scotland a Carmelite named Robert Baston, who was also a poet and who Edward wished to write a poem to celebrate the English victory. As we know, things didn't turn out the way that Edward intended. The English army was virtually destroyed and Edward himself barely escaped south. Robert Baston was caught on the battlefield and Robert Bruce told him that he would be released as soon as he had written a poem to commemorate the Scottish victory. He wrote the poem in Latin and is one of the poems included in Scotty Chroniken, Walter Bowes' Latin History of Scotland, written in the 1440s. And there it languished for centuries and read until Edwin Morgan made a translation of the poem into the English language in 2004. If the Scots had hoped for a stirring poem, praising them for their famous victory, they were sadly mistaken. It is true that he commemorated the Scots' victory and the disaster that befell the English army, but in fact, the main thrust of the poem is Barton's horror at the misery and death and destruction on the battlefield, as the extract that I am going to read clearly shows. So here is the last page of the poem in the translation by Edwin Morgan. What is truth worth? How can I sing about so much blood? Could even tragedy bear its breast to show such cut and thud? The names may be famous, but I do not know them all. I cannot number the humblings and tumblings of hundreds that fall. Many are mown down, many are thrown down, many are drowned, many are found and bound. Many are taken in chains for a stated ransom. So some are rising, riding rich, high and handsome, who before the war were poor and threadbare souls. The battlefield is barren, but piled with spoils, shouts and taunts and vengeful cuts and brawls. I saw, but what can I say? A harvest I did not sow. Guile is not my style. Justice and peace are what I would show. Anyone who has more in store, let him write the score. My mind is numb, my voice half done, my art a blur. I am a Carmelite and my surname is Baston. I grieve that I survive a happening so harrowing and ghastly. If it is my sin to have left out what should be in, let others begin to record it without rumour or spin. I must say that I find that a truly remarkable poem. It could have been written today about the war in Iraq or about what is happening in, in Syria at the present time. <laughs>